The Kaiju and Jaeger Con 10 is back and after doing the sizes of both of them, we are now showcasing you the timeline of the Pacific Rim. It starts a long time ago before humanity even started to evolve and ends with the Mega Kaiju event in Tokyo. These creatures and robots have now become very well known amongst monster fans and it's only fair that we do this timeline about them. So here it goes. The Triassic Period in the very beginning of the timeline, it starts with precursors trying and ultimately failing to colonize Earth millions of years ago in the Triassic period. These precursors are a very advanced race of colonizing aliens from the Antiverse and the creators of the Kaiju. August 10, 2013 till August 15, 2013. This marks the very first time that humanity had their encounter with the monstrous Kaiju as the breach opened for a first time in the Pacific Ocean and the kaiju named Trespasser attacking San Francisco only to be killed by the military and using nukes after destroying a couple of cities. February 5th, 2014 After a gap of a year and a half, a second kaiju shook the world and this was called Hondon. It attacked Manila in the Philippines and was also ultimately killed by a tactical nuclear strike. Though it is killed, its excrement severely contaminates the environment of the city. February 8, 2014 Following these two kaiju attacks and the fact that it was obvious it wouldn't be the end of the kaiju attacks on Earth, the Kaiju Emergency Alert System was established which utilized various forms of radio and other media. June 1, 2014. This date marks Kaisef emerging from the breach and its attack hits Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. The military's attempt to lure the creature away from the city fail and they are forced to attack the kaiju with a tactical nuclear strike that kills it at the expense of half the city's inhabitable areas. September 2nd, 2014 After three months, another kaiju, the fourth one called Sija, attacked Sydney. After three days, the military lured it to an isolated location before attempting another attack. Civilians were given an hour to evacuate downtown district to escape the blast radius, and the military kills it with a nuclear strike. It is also the date that the Jaegers were first conceived. September 15, 2014 Following all these kaiju attacks, an emergency international conference in Seoul, South Korea commences, and a person called Jasper Chonfield presents his idea for the Jaeger and it was ultimately given approval by the United Nations. An unknown date in 2014 Somewhere between September and November in the fall of 2014, the Pan-Pacific Defense Corps was created by the United Nations representing 21 nations across the Pacific Ocean. Though not explicitly a Pacific adjacent nation, the United Kingdom was also involved due to Australia and Canada. November 9, 2014 The Jaeger program was started and it was a project that focused on the massive mobile systems called the Jaegers in response to the Kaiju threat. It was funded by the Pan-Pacific Defense Corps and the United Nations. December 1, 2014 the Pan Pacific Defense Corps Proving Grounds or Jaeger Testing Facility is a military reservation located on Kodiak Island. It was first used to field test and construct the first ever fighting line of Jaegers during the Kaiju War. The first series of Mark I Jaegers including Horizon Brave were constructed on the island. January 30th, 2015 This date marks the deployment of the first ever Jaeger and it is called Brawler Yukon. And it is a Mark I prototype Jaeger. It fought against the Kaiju Karloff in Vancouver in 2015 and was the first Jaeger constructed and deployed into combat at the beginning of the Kaiju War. April 23, 2015 The Pacific Tracking Network first spots Karloff, a Kaiju, making its way to Vancouver. With the line of battle ready Jaegers weeks away from the official deployment, Brawler Yukon was sent in to intercept and kill the Kaiju with a blow to the face. Since it was the first ever confrontation between a Jaeger and a Kaiju, the military was also sent to assist it. The 6th till the 30th December 2015 In the last month of the year 2015, the Hong Kong Shadow Dome is established and quite a number of Jaegers were commissioned into service. The Japanese Tacit Ronin, the American Romeo Blue, the Chinese Horizon Brave and another Japanese Koyoto Tango was launched. Now the world has a fleet of Jaegers to battle the Kaiju. May 15, 2016 This day marks Onibaba's attack on the Japanese capital city of Tokyo and was dubbed the Onibaba Incident. The beast lays waste to the city, killing millions of people. The Air Force attempts to destroy the creature only results in further demise of the pilots involved. It was ultimately brought down by Koyori Tango. June 21, 2016 After emerging from the Tokyo Bay, 
I tag another kaiju circles the Tokyo Bay when Tacit Ronin arrives from the Tokyo Shadow Dome. When Tacit Ronin lands in the bay, I tag attacks Tacit Ronin from the front and manages to damage its nuclear reactor. After a while, Koyori Tango appears in the fight and was also overpowered. But then, Itak was later killed by Tacit Ronin. July 5th, 2016 A Category 2 kaiju called Ragnarok emerges from the breach in Tokyo Bay and Jaeger Victory Alpha is deployed against Ragnarok. But then, Victory Alpha is destroyed by Ragnarok. Then, Tacit Ronin is deployed to fight and ultimately kills the kaiju. July 10th, 2017 Gypsy Danger was constructed on Kodiak Island at the Jaegers Academy's Jaeger Testing Facility. Launched in July 10, 2017, Gypsy Danger was stationed at the Anchorage Shadow Dome and tasked to defend the coastline of Alaska. August 22, 2018 Constructed in the province of Changzhou, China, Crimson Typhoon was launched on August 22, 2018. Crimson Typhoon successfully defended Hong Kong against kaiju attacks until its destruction in 2025. It was one of the last old Jaegers to be seen in the Pacific Rim movie. The winter of 2019. A kaiju of unknown category attacks Manila. Herc Hansen is deployed in Manila in Lucky 7 and later Gypsy Danger is also deployed in Manila. And also a third Jaeger, which is unnamed, is also deployed there. This was called the Three Jaeger Drop. Gypsy Danger and Lucky 7 kills the kaiju. In November, the first Mark V Jaeger called Striker Eureka is launched. The winter of 2020, Category 3 Kaiju Knifehead emerges from the breach in Anchorage and Gypsy Danger is deployed from Anchorage Shadow Dome to defend the Miracle Mile. In the ensuing battle, Gypsy Danger initially got the upper hand but was later severely damaged by Knifehead and one of the pilots was killed. With only one pilot in the drift, Gypsy Danger desperately and miraculously killed the Kaiju with a powerful plasma shot. From October till December 2024, the construction of the anti-kaiju wall or also called the wall or the coastal wall was started with the intention of preventing the invasion of kaiju beyond the Pacific Rim. With this new construction, many of the shadow domes were shut down. The military or the Pan Pacific Defense Corps tried to put more faith on the wall rather than Jaegers which were currently being destroyed at an exponential rate by the kaiju. January 2025 Striker Eureka is decommissioned from active combat and immediately after that, a big and powerful Category 4 kaiju called Mutavo breaks through the anti-kaiju wall. Then Mutavo was killed by Striker Eureka after it was recommissioned after finding out that the anti-kaiju wall is proven ineffective against the kaiju. January 8, 2025 Newton Geisler drifts with a kaiju brain and immediately after that, a Category 4 kaiju leatherback and also Otachi emerges from the breach and attacks Hong Kong. Crimson Typhoon, Cherno Alpha and Striker Eureka are deployed. In the battle, Crimson Typhoon and Cherno Alpha were destroyed and Striker Eureka was rendered helpless. Gypsy Danger is then deployed and manages to kill both Leatherback and Otachi. January 12, 2025 Category 4 Kaiju Scanner and Raiju emerges from the breach first and then a Category 5 Kaiju called Sladen emerges from the breach. Striker Eureka and Gypsy Danger were deployed. Raiju is killed by Gypsy Danger and Striker Eureka kills Scanner and then self-detonates the thermonuclear bomb near the breach. Later, Sladen is killed by Gypsy Danger and Gypsy Danger self-detonates himself inside the Antiverse. The Unknown Dates in 2030 After five years of inactivity, the Jaeger program was reinstated during the peace time and a lot of progress was made regarding weapon systems and abilities as well as upgraded agility and a lot of Jaegers have been constructed as well, making a huge fleet of Jaegers in case another kaiju attack happens. December 12, 2033 till January 12, 2034 In between these days, three very famous Jaegers were launched which are Guardian Bravo, the high-tech Saber Athena and the resurrected Gypsy Avenger, the namesake of Gypsy Danger. 2035. Scrapper was first seen in action and was apprehended. Then Jake Pentecost and its pilot Amara Namani are arrested by the Pan Pacific Defense Corps. Late 2035. The events of Uprising, which is also called the reemergence of the Kaiju, is seen, starting with a rogue Jaeger Obsidian Fury attacking Sydney 
and then the drones which were meant for defense against kaiju actually turn out into hybrids and attack shadow domes and also open the breaches for new kaiju to re-enter the world. Three kaijus emerge and manage to enter and they become the mega kaiju later on and was destroying every Jaeger it could find. It was later killed by Gypsy Danger falling like a meteor into it from the sky. And with this we come to the end of the timeline for now. So do subscribe and share this video with your friends. Also hit that notification bell.